Hello guys, today we are going to learn about how to deploy the Spring Boot application on the external Tomcat server. If you are using the Spring Boot, you all aware of that it is come up with the embedded Tomcat server. So what it means, if you are running the Spring Boot application, then you don't have to use the external Tomcat server. It will automatically run with the embedded Tomcat server. But you know, in the real world, in the real practical production, like when we are working on real time projects, it is not a case like we have to use the embedded Tomcat server. We have to deploy it or put our uh, production ready application on some other server, which is external, which is on some other uh, server. So in that case, we can't use that embedded server. And there are other main factors because of that we can't use it uh, embedded server. So few of things I have mentioned here. So th this one uh, we uh, the first thing is that with the uh, there is security issue also we can't use this for maintenance purpose also. And the for for the monitoring of the application is going to be very difficult if you simply use that uh you use the embedded then the you can't monitor it how all the apis are working correctly or not so these are the few things and there are lots of things because of that we are not going to uh, use the embedded uh, server in the real time application so here i mention only few three things and there are lots so come up with the like uh, our main purpose is to learn how to deploy so let's begin The very first step is you have to create your simple Spring Boot application from the Spring Initializer. Just go into your web page, um, Spring Initializer. Uh, create a Maven project. If you wish, you will create a go ahead with the Gradle project too. But I am using the Maven project. So here I will give the group ID. Uh, I am giving my blog site name pixel price now the name should be uh, let's suppose first spring boot application all right uh, name it automatically comes package name is like by default it is jar and here we need a few of the dependencies which is required for example we need babe starter spring babe one dependency uh, yeah this is the enough uh, i think if it required another we will install uh, at the time of requirement so just once uh, this is finished click on generate so you got your project in the zip file just go in the folder and where it is oh yeah here it is so just do it right click and extract give the location yeah it is extracted here now what i am going to do all right once you download it and extract it in some file you you have to open your uh, eclipse or you even if you are using some other id then you can go ahead so for this purpose i am using eclipse so i will open the eclipse mm, select uh, your workspace where you are going to work on so i am uh, created a particular file for this external tomcat i will choose this and launch the eclipse all right uh, it's open in Eclipse. Now what you have to do, you ju just go and import your file. Import, uh, select the Maven. Like this, yeah. Select, choose the existing Maven project. Click on Next. Mm, choose the directory where you saved that file. Where I'm saved. Uh, here it is i here it is i choose that file i import it uh, it's yeah it's importing on the eclipse 
workspace see here it's come up all the projects so the uh, very first thing the very first uh, part or the package where we have to go here the main class or the spring boot application class just go it in this folder see all the execution start from here the class which tagged with the spring boot application and having the main method uh, all the execution start from here this is called a driving class or you can say it is like a spring boot application class or the main class from where the execution started so wh what are the thing we required just go here again steps things need to done before deploying okay we have to do the packaging of the application as a word file all right then what we have to do then we have to prevent the spring boot from using the embedded tomcat server this second point embedded tomcat server we have to prevent it so let's see how we are going to do it so let's uh, start with this the very first thing we have to do in the this class in the main class we have to extend some other class predefined class that is spring boot uh, spring boot servlet initializer we have to extend it this class to activate the or uh, to package in the form of var file spring was the name spring boot servlet initializer spring boot servlet initializer all right guys we have extended with the spring boot servlet initializer this is one of the very important class because in this class contain one method we have to overwrite it here in order to package in the form of war file so what is that method just come up here this is the method which is present in spring boot servlet initializer class this is this one is the method configure method okay so what i am going to do just i will copy it and paste it there so yes come up here yeah and you can also add the tag bits overwrite of course it is not compulsory but it is good to tag with the override annotation so just fix the imports now we got all the things required for the main class these are the things you should must have in the main class before going to the further so let's uh, check out the next step what we have to do <coughs> uh, when um, we have to uh, add this packaging and packaging uh, tag as a war file in the pom.xml so let's go into the pom.xml xml what are we have right now so as you can see we have choose the spring boot starter wave from their spring initializer and we have test uh, okay so what we have to do uh, we have to we don't have here any tag for packaging purpose we have to add the tag here so where exactly we are going to add this tag below you over the number so just see here here we have to add this tag as a var and save it now once this is done let's go ahead we have to follow the another state where we have to prevent prevent the spring boot from using the embedded tomcat server as you already know it is embedded so we have to prevent the spring boot exactly we have to say the spring boot please don't use that embedded tomcat server so what we are, i am going to use I, I will just copy it this dependency you have to use this uh, thing this dependency uh, copy it and paste it here Mm, there are, okay all right i'm pasting it here 
once you pasted see this is the name is spring boot starter tomcat and the main important thing is scope you have to add this tag scope to be provided so basically this dependency is giving the direction to the embedded tomcat so don't like not embedded tomcat to the spring boot application please don't use the embedded tomcat we are going to use some other tomcat external tomcat all okay this is the steps uh, we done with the two files we have fixed the pom.xml uh, we fix the main main uh, class file like main class folder file class class okay main class so yeah two things is completed now come to the next part what we have to do yes this spring boot starter web dependency already we have embedded now we will create a simple rest controller class uh, just to testing purpose we have to create a simple this controller class so what i will do i will right click go to new and choose class give any name whatever you want I will give the simple name hello world class and finish click on finished you got the class and just uh, write any method it method I'm using this method just mapping method copy and paste it here of course you can write whatever the methods or things you want to write here you can do it once you paste it here just tag with the rest controller annotation because it is a controller class we are using it all right we have uh, now done with all the steps configuration part is completed now what we are going to one more tag I, I would like to include this start class tag uh, inside the properties tag you have to add this start class yes it's optional but in some of the cases it's not working so for like in a better safe place we can add this tag okay actually this is the purpose of this tag we are telling the spring boot application to go and start with from that class from the main class whatever class if you mention this this is the place properties tag you have to add this see here in this tag you have to mention the fully qualified class name of the main class and here my main class names must be matched with the first spring boot application first name first spring boot application yes okay still i am copy and paste it so that if i done any mistake in the spellings it will not create the problem all right uh, we have done with the configuration now come to the another thing mm, yeah we have changes to war file now the important point is mm, we done with that everything is fine yeah we are ready to go and doing the packaging for packaging purpose as a war file we can do either by the uh, we can do either by using the command prompt or using the id such as clips so yes so already we uh, most of the it is very easy to do by the clips so i am going to do with the command prompt so that you will able to understand how to work on the command prompt uh, to run the application or to uh, wrap uh, wrap the file in the war file okay just go to the uh, place where you have saved that um, file that parent file or this where it is a place just right click it do the properties in my case this file is available here so what i will do i will copy this location and i will go in my folder and paste it here see indirectly you jump get me into the this folder so once you reached the here what you have to do just select it and remove it right cmd command prompt now it's open now the next step how will you create a word file so what are the steps so when the command prompt yes we have done now tap the ambient package 
we have to tab MBN package this one. We have to tab it here. MBN package and click on enter. See, this thing is going to work what we will get after this. The test is going to be everything is running, 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 running. It's fine, it's fine, fine. Yeah, see result we got test run one failure zero build success. This means war file is created. To see where the war file is getting created, you have to come with the same face where you are you was there. See here, just go into the target folder. See here. These two files we have created. One is war file. You can see war war file. Now we have the war file, and now the next step we have to just use this war file to deploy it on the external Tomcat server. So let's begin. What is the next step? Just follow the step. Press enter. You will see the message on the command. Yes, we got the yes. We have created. Uh, this part is for Eclipse for creating the war file. So I am skipping that part. Now come to here deployment of the Spring Boot war file on the external Tomcat. What we have to do here? We have to go to the Apache Tomcat. Uh, Apache Tomcat where if, if you don't have the Apache Tomcat installed or downloaded in your system, just go ahead and download it. Tom .tom, tomcat you can type you will get and so many it's very easy you can download it so i'm not going to go into depth so let's begin how to down uh, do the and the run into the external part external part so in my system my tomcat software is placed here in this folder so i will go into generally everybody having the same path almost uh, users uh, your system name and the downloads in my case in it is in the download folder i will go here directly i will paste the path and i reached here see in the in this file in path i have this apache tomcat 5 point this so see this is the wave app you just have to double click you will reach here so what you have to do you have to follow the steps very simple what is the steps in just copy the your wire war file and paste it in the wave app folder so uh, where is the my war file okay my war file path copy it where is my war file path paste it in the we have the target folder in see here is the war file just copy it and go to the apache folder web app inside that you have to paste it that war file once you have pasted all work have been done now come to the next step what is the next step run the external tomcat server next step is we have to run the external tomcat server how to run it just you have to go inside the tomcat server uh, sorry saw tomcat application or the file inside that go to the bin folder where is that file go back go back this is the tomcat in my system i come here see this is the bin file go here open the command line cmd see here i am in the bin folder now the next step is we have to type the command startup.sh we have to type the command startup.sh once you tap click on enter see one thing is pop up command line and completely gone it's showing that your tom external tomcat has been started it's running now what you have to do just go and check it by default it will run on localhost port number 8080 see it's running if you got this screen it means it's running your external tomcat is now running 
now come to the another step what we have to do see here i have posted here also if, if it, this screen comes it means your tomcat is not running in order to check that verify that your endpoint or the api which you have written it's working or not so for that what you have to do you have to just mention the file name like war file name here copy or just uh, what you have to do just go here and slash war file complete you have to do like this except dot jar if you write like dot jar it will not going to work remove the jar jar simply up to snapshot just press enter see you got this it means our application is running right now so here if did you remember that we have implemented the rest uh, class rest controller class we have that hello world rest controller we mentioned the one api home endpoint is home so what you have to do just here tag home great wonderful you got the greetings from spring boot from where you got this message from here see greeting from spring boot so this is the whole process this is the all step you have to follow to deploy it on the external tomcat you can observe here we are not running this application it is not in the running mode uh, it's not running we are running the war file in the we are actually running the external tomcat tomcat server and how you will check it just go to the home this is the external tomcat server and here you are doing the things you, your your uh, war file is running so yeah this is the whole step you have to follow and to get your uh, application deployed on the external uh, external tomcat server if you want to learn in a detail just go into my site or my blog post i have written in a detail this is the link i will give you in the description you can just follow this link and you will get all the details i try to explain it but if you have any confusion if you have any queries please do comment or you can check out this link and you will get all the explanation what is whatever required all that thank you so much for um, listening me and if you have any query please do comment i will really love to uh, guide you i will love to solve your queries thank you so much goodbye